Okay, so this is our next project and this will be hopefully a bottle garden. Now, uh, I found this in the shed when we first moved in and I've been threatened to make a bottle garden out for ages. Now, I used to do a lot of these years ago and that was one of my jobs to do the container gardening. And um, of its time, bottle garden was quite popular. Now, it, it seems to be making a bit of a comeback. Although it's always been uh, a popular thing, in fact, I think the Victorians popularised it first by using something called terrariums, uh, whereupon they make a, a case out of glass, leaded glass, and they put plants in there. Nine times out of ten, they'd have to be in there because the oil, the, the sorry, the air was so polluted it wouldn't really survive. So by putting it in there, it creates its own little microclimate. So this is the idea. We'll put this, we'll put the plants in there. And they pretty much fend for themselves. They won't really need, I mean, I had one before and I watered it probably every couple of weeks more than anything else. Just a little bit of decent light is all it needs. Um, most people do a decent job of them. Uh, and where I've seen it done on the old Tinternet, it's not that bad. However, there's a few things that they don't quite get right. So I would rather correct that for you now. Okay, so. A bit of drainage in the bottom, always good, not always desperate. So what I've done is I've kind of mashed up a, a charcoal briquette. So this is barbecue charcoal. Um, the lump charcoal is the, the better, the actual pieces of wood. It has to be wood charcoal, mind you. But this should do the same job. And it'll give it a little bit of drainage, but also it can, the, the charcoal can tend to soak up some of the toxins if they build up within the, the thing itself. So we'll just... Uh, Put that in there. It will fit in. Okay. Now you can get some quite nice planters, which you can get your hand in. Uh, but I'm working with what I have. So we'll just do that. Now, so the second thing that people don't do, they think that it has to be really good quality compost. Ooh, no, the problem with good quality compost is that it will encourage the plants to grow. I don't want them to grow. I want them just to keep ticking over because if they grow, they will compete out too much and they will die quick. Uh, you want to keep them ticking over, just sort of well, just steady away there. You mustn't use any plants that are flowering because if the flowers die on the plant inside here, the flowers will rot and then consequently your plant will rot. And then consequently, you've got a bottle garden full of dead plants. That's what you want. So try and stick to plants which have uh, a small leaf may be interesting. We're only going to put about three plants in here. Um, so it's just a question of having a look around some of the garden centres. There's, there's a plant cache and carry near me and they have little house plants and then they tend to shop around. You'll get this up with the usual suspects, little things like these. Pretty good. Um, now what I tend to do, excuse me, temperature skills, how dare you? There you go. Um, to, now the thing was, the compost we're going to use, like I said, is a, a cactus compost. Move that down there, move that down there. I would rather you see the pot. Okay, let's move it up there. So the idea is then we're going to put it into here. And what that will do is it's much easier to fill the pot up like this, okay, than it is to try and just use your hand. You can fold up a bit of paper, but this seems to work quite well. Now, ideally, you want uh, a couple of inches of compost in here, really. Um, so, if in metrification, you're looking at about 10 centimetres of soil, of compost, sorry. Now, unfortunately, you will might make a little bit of a mess, which is why I'm in the, in the shed. Uh, because the compost, it wants to be not too wet. If it's if it's if it's dry, it flows. You see, and you want it just to run down. And a couple of things as well. Make sure that if you are using a glass container, a couple of things. It wants to be dry inside, otherwise the compost will stick to the glass. And also, just a little bit of interest. Uh, everything wants to be the same temperature because if uh, I've done a bottle garden before, and I took this straight out of the car, took it inside to a WI meeting. And it frosted over and I couldn't see a thing. It was like these. It's a bit like when you're trying to use your a mask in a and you've got your glasses on, everything just fogs up, which which in a lot of good. So we just keep doing that with it. 
We'll just keep filling it up. You can, the other way I do this is I actually uh, make a little funnel out of a bit of paper. So just a question of what works. You will find that you'll make a lot of your own kind of equipment for this. What I mean by that is when it comes to putting the plants in, I have uh, made out of a bit of wire uh, and so I can get in and do it. That's actually designed to do much larger containers. Um, I have done what's called carboys, which are massive bottles. You just have distilled water and that'll do one of those. Um, favorite favorite things to repurpose, uh, things like uh, coat hangers, metal co wire coat hangers, if you've got them. Um, bamboo can uh, and, and a chip fork, not bad. So most people say, so what's the first thing you need to do, Michael? Get yourself to the chip shop, get some goodies, keep the fork for later. Yeah. So it's just a question to keep working with it, really. Like that. I'll just so you can see my face a bit more, otherwise I'm, you see the bottom half of me. That's better. Okay. A friend of mine said he likes the videos that we do because they're genuine. You know, they're, they're honest. <laughs> really? So I I do jobs like this as if you were just stood over my shoulder because I don't know any other way of doing it. So you can see, incidentally, these, these things make great seed sowers, you know. Uh, this was a Cravendale bottle, um, sorry, all, other milk bottles are available, you know, but works quite well. And if you need to get the compost of a swoosh around. So there is a reason why it's got a loop on the end and a loop on the end is then I can push the compost down. And also I can lock things into it if I mean, so for example, a bit of cloth I can push in to help clean things up. It's useful for that. There isn't just a random thing and it's hooked on the end because... I did one once and it didn't have the hook on the end and I lost the thing inside. So it's not a, <laughs> it's not great. So after a while you kind of learn what, what you need to do. Now, ideally, you need to put in all of the compost that you need to work with because it's very easy to put compost on the plants. And I don't want to do that because you can make them rot like that. And also it, it's just easier. So I'll put a little bit more in. Now you don't have to fill it up because when you're digging little holes to put your plants in, you will displace some of the soil anyway. So let's have a look and see what we've got now. Makes life a bit easy because when you when you've got a you want it about table height. You don't want to you can't plant over the top. But it's harder to see when you do these because it's the refraction of the glass and it all splits it. So First things first, now these plants are, most house plants when they grow them, they, what they'll do is they split, they, they do pieces um, and they put loads of plants together. So I have made one of these for someone a bit earlier and um, so this is what I've got left over. The idea is you make a like a plug, okay. I'm going to fit it in there. Now before we do anything by dropping it in, I'm going to make a little depression in it. Then the idea is I'm going to try and drop it onto that and then I can work it from there. Okay. Leave it up there. I don't waste anything. I'll pop these up, some of the bits left over. I have orphans, which I tend to put into other other containers. Now, the one I did before had a slightly narrow, slightly wider neck than this one. But we'll see how we get on. So you can cheat, you see. So by actually tilting the bottle, I can drop the plant exactly where I want that one. Plonk. Put that over there. And now what we can do is use the the blade itself. The reason why it's shaped the way it is because it will actually push the, the plant down. If you can get it in right first time, it matters. But yeah, the um, it's a fascinating history of bottle gardens. If you think about it, they also used to bring home kind of tropical plants like this. If they found a load of them, the the the, the water they carry drinking what these these cowboys they used to just plant stuff in them and bring that back. Okay. 
Now you can see where this one was slightly damp. I'll show you. You can see where it starts to stick to it. Yeah, not a problem. We can we can fix that as we go. In. I put the tall one in first. I always put the bigger stuff in first. Okay. Right. Move him out of the way. Gotcha. And we've got we've used up quite a bit of soil on him, so I might have to break my golden rule and add a bit more anyway. Which is fine because he's tucked away. So if I put some in my little pori job. And again, it's easier if you tilt the pot, because if you tilt the pot, then it's gonna you're gonna drop the soil where you want it. You can't do that if the compost's too wet. Oh mate, you've got all sorts of problems if you do. You're in a world of hurt. I'm gonna use the rest of that. Yeah, so that's all it is. It's comp it's just essentially it's a cactus compost. I can't stress that enough. If you get the wrong compost, it'll grow for a couple of weeks, then it'll die. It helps might if you tilt it the right way. There you go. Alright. So the first one I did like this, I hadn't really planted one of these up for years. And I made I made them as gifts. I used to make them as gifts, and this one was for a leaving present for a, a lady who was a keen gardener. Um, and I only just got to know her. And she quite liked what we she quite liked the idea, but and she apparently she had it for ages. So we're making another little little hole there. I won't use the word depression. We hear a lot about depression recently. Um, so we're gonna, not going to use that one. Um, so I'm going to use, um, let's see, show me a bit of colour. Remember that in. It, these are, uh, they snow them as polka dot plants. Ironically, this hasn't, it's got stripes. So, but I still know it's a polka dot plant. A lot of these little plants here um, tend not to come in with, with labels. They're just little planters. So these little plants here, they would have, they use them for when you're doing plants for like Christmas and that. Very carefully feed it in. That's it. So by, by tilting the pot you can manipulate where it goes. All right. It's just a question of pe being patient. Get it where you you might have to mani you might have to spend a little bit of time just getting it where you want and then you can go and then you can stuff it in. Gotcha. So it's ideal if it doesn't wrap itself around your your forky thing. That's it. Now, like I said, it's it's the compost has to be fairly dry because then you can move it around. Um, you can always you're always going to water this when you when you're done, um, and it's a lot easier to leave water out than it is to put it in because if you put too much water in, you'll drown them. So by using a dry compost, spray it with your sea. What you need to be using, Just spray it up a bit. Uh, okay, so I hope you can kind of see what we're doing. This this is just a tutorial video, and the idea is I'll I'll play this um, to my learners, and then you can ask me loads of interesting questions at the end. And uh, the idea is then that you can play it again and again just to get the feel of what you're doing. So that's number two. I'm going to straighten that plant up. So half the fun with this is there won't be many jobs you know you do that the first thing you do is you make the you make the tools that you're going to use, <laughs> and then you uh, do the garden. Okay. So I decide. Uh, so this is the audience vote here as to which plant to put in next. Do you want to put? Shall we put in that one? Or we can put in a bit of that one. Or we can use my friend the ivy. Ooh, what do you think? Um, 
I think we'll go for, I think, a little bit of ivy, a little bit of colour. I'm sure you said something else, but I just fancied the ivy, you know what I mean? So it's, a, it's my demonstration, and I'll put in what I like. So it's just a question of just taking your time with it. The thing with any kind of uh, what you're, what essentially what you're paying for when somebody buys you a gift, or when make it, they make you a gift, they're paying for your time. And I always think that's worth more. Now, as I said, the other one I made, I made it and I videoed it, but due to the wonders of modern technology, the video crashed. Um, so I, I have a spare one of these now. For some reason, if it's, if it's got leaves on it, I'm all right with it. Anything like technology, it's, it's a menace with me. So I took it inside to water it. I'm like, well, where do I get one of these from? And I know the second hand shop and it's nice to have them. And my wife straight away says, oh, that's nice. Now, usually when, when you, your better half says, oh, that's nice, they want it. So you're going to have to kind of, so I may have to donate the other one uh, as an office lockdown plant, planter. So let's just put that back in there. Okay. Now, I'm going to probably put a little bit of something in here as well, just to give it a, a little bit of work. It's, this is mainly like a game of chicken. You don't put too much stuff in if you, if you can help it. It depends if this splits down. I think this is, believe it or not, a type of fern. I'm not sure which one it is. A lot of ferns, they're so unpronounceable. If you had them on a Scrabble board, you'd like win the next 10 games. So, so what we'll do is I'm just going to see if I can craftily plonk this little fella. Assume it's a fella make a little plug with it so they are, see, see the little plug and it just it should hopefully just drop straight in we'll just do a little bit more excavating I don't like the way this plant is leaning towards me go away push that over there a bit that's better Right, so I'll put the next one in. This should be it with a bit of luck. So this planter here, there's a strong chance this will probably end up in the March Centre. In fact, it will probably end up on the reception desk, I imagine. Or something like that. So then you actually get to see what it looks like in the flesh. Again, we'll just position the plant right where we want it. It positioned hey that's all right that okay so i made these before and as i said these can last quite a while if they're not looked after is the way i'm looking at it so that's essentially the finished article i'm just going to go around i'm just going to make sure that there's I don't like to see the stuff trying to compete with each other as yet. Ivies can be problem children. They tend to pick fights with everything. Including me. But the thing is with ivies, they're very strong. Uh, they're very forgiving. And they're really good for putting in stuff like this. And nine times out of ten, you can spend a, ever such a long time. And the only thing left can be the ivy. And it can still look great. Um, so... We're going to just uh, tidy this up a little bit more. So like I said, let's see if we can give it a bit of a clean. Wouldn't be the first time I've lost a piece of this in there. Let's make a little bit of a, thank you. I'll try not to make this into a first aid demonstration. Yeah, not to self. It's better having a bit of cloth 
but you can wrap around and tie a little knot in it. Um, if you you can use kitchen roll, then the problem is the kitchen roll gets stuck in here. And if that gets stuck in there, well, you better have a swear box because it might take you a while to get out. So I've just fastened that on, so there's no way that's going to get stuck in there. All right, and I'll just push it into that loop. It might seem a lot of faff to you. Okay, this might seem a lot of faff for a gift wrapper. I like cake decorating. I watch that and I go, "That's amazing! I, that would do my idea." But again, this is this to me is part of the fun. It's part of the interest of making the making the gift. Um, that's it. Got it in. So what we can do then is we can just go down the glass and just clean the glass with it, and it, and it works quite well. Now, it helps, like I said, it, because what's happened here is the condensation has, uh, it gets condensed inside the, the bottle garden and, that's, and the dust from the compost has started to stick. Right. But by doing this like this, it'll catch me. Right? And you should be able to see it. It's doing a better job. Like that. right there. That's better. It's quite funny, I was doing that on it. I was thinking it's going to blow the soil off the compost, and then you realise it's going through about how many layers of glass. <laughs> so that's not so good. Now, the thing to do with it, now I'm just going to square this plant up that I've just seen here. When it comes to watering it, the best way to water them really is if you can, just, just run the water down the outside and it hits there. Just gently if we can do that. And you'll know when it's got enough water because the compost will start to change colour. So all you want to do is do a little bit of a squirt, just a little bit of a cup, just a little. The best thing for this is a fairy liquid bottle, which I had already for this demonstration. And then I realised it got recycled and the bin men took it this morning. So like most improvisations, this is what we're going to do. All right. But once you've got this set up, you won't need to feed it. Um, you pretty much won't need to water it because as the water recycles, it just condenses. It just takes a little while to get itself, a couple of days to get itself up and running. But once it's running, I promise you, you'll do nothing to it. Do you know the biggest killer of house plants? The biggest killer of plants? Kindness. You know, because oh, I can't, I can't look after me plants. I'll say that's what you're doing wrong. Why? Oh, what do you mean? You're looking after them. They don't want looking after. Them. Just enjoy them. Leave them be. Um, and. That's what I tend to do. I have a little um, lockdown nursery on my window ledge where I work. And I've got a couple of rescued house plants on there where someone's given us a plant. And they'd been to a garden centre and they'd got the fancy thermometer. They'd got the, the I don't know how many ometers they had. They had things for moisture and they had things for uh, how much humidity. And I mean, the, this particular piece of kit on it, I shouldn't think it would make the tea. And I looked at it and I went, I said, it's all very well. But the simple thing for compost, you know, is dead easy. Now, if you've got a pot, stick your finger in it. If the compost sticks to it, there's enough moisture in it. And you can't do that with this. But you can see already, well, I'll show you. Just pop that right there like that. If you try and firm these in a lot when the soil is wet, You've got to be careful because you, you do not want to compact them. Better? What's that? It doesn't help as well when you're a bit of a perfectionist like I am. Gotcha! Look what one's doing now. Move you over there. That's it! Liking that already. Okay, so. So the idea is that that will settle in and it will should make a nice little community. Um, it's it won't need any water, as I say, and it won't need any feed. 
Ella. I guarantee if you make one of these for somebody, you know the old thing, it's, it is not available in the shops. Yeah, you're darn right, because most shops, they would, they'd go spare trying to make these. You can, like I said, you can buy already planted up arrangements, but this one is a Mike Langley original, okay? And that one could also be uh, your original as well. So so this is, this is one of our projects. So um, have a crack at this one as well. You've got five projects to do. All right, you've got the chili sherry as well to have a make. You've got this one to do. I'm going to do some other uh, con uh, container gardening. Uh, we'll probably do um, a bee hotel as well. So you're going to get all different things that you could make that you can give to a garden or a gardener. And they're all uh, interesting things. And of course, they're bespoke made by you. So have a go at that. Um, read, uh, I'm going to put together a little bit of a presentation so you can uh, read that and you'll get a bit of background on it as well. Watch the video. And if you've got any questions, please ask. So have a go. Thank you very much.